It seems like the Russians aren't letting go of the UFC throne for a while. UFC 284's main event will be a clash of the great and Makachev. But until then, trainers like Armand Sarukian are turning down offers to train Volkanovski. Volkanovski's UFC 284 preps might be in shambles. The latest contender thinks he has the muscle to take on the champ. In fact, he's ready to meet Islam Makachev main event UFC 284 February of 2023. The great will gain weight in order to front possibly the most difficult test of his career. Why you ask? Because he's going up against the Eagles formidable disciple. That's why. Makachev's extraordinary grappling prowess looked insurmountable, prompting Volkanovski to seek the assistance of Armand Sarukian. For this, Sarukian himself challenged the lightweight title at UFC Fight Night 149 in 2019. Sarukian is on a very different wavelength these days though. The Georgian acknowledged that he'd refused to assist the great in what he said sort of surprised us. Sarukian got pretty candid with his reasoning though. I respect how professional and honest the Georgian was with the offer Volkanovski gave him. Sarukian admitted that he wasn't even training actively and that going to another professional's training camp in his rusty condition was not his cup of tea. I get it. I wouldn't go to someone's birthday party without a gift. He further said that if he had prepared, he would immediately take up the offer. Makes sense. Also, you guys, take note that Alexander Volkanovski is currently ranked number one in the UFC P4P rankings. Though, be that as it may, he has never met a wrestler of the quality of Islam Makachev. The great must locate acceptable training partners in order to be sufficiently prepared for fight night. Sorukian, on the other hand, feels may not be so simple. The athlete added that thinking of him as Islam would be pretty dumb. For context, Sarukian doesn't use sweeps the way the Russian does. He's also left-handed, while Makachev is right-handed. What in the world would Volkanovski get from using him as a sparring partner? Alexander Volkanovski says his style will frustrate Islam Makachev. Alexander Volkanovski recently spoke with Michael Bisping, a former UFC champion, about his next fight against Islam Makachev. The Great broke down the bout and explained why he believes his approach would be more effective versus Makachev's. First off, Volkanovski complimented his elusive and deceptively fast footwork. More desperate to try and grab the grab the legs and all that type. Again, this this is stuff he hasn't had to deal with. Mm. No, like there's no way there's people that have a calculated footwork uh, like I like I have that he's faced. There's no way. Probably the one thing Volkanovski is going to milk for the duration of this match is his nimbleness. Makachev is a guy who likes to pin his opponent into a hold and make a painful pretzel. But he can't do that if Volkanovski is bouncing around, now can he? The technique sounds great when you talk about it, but we still have to see it being executed against the Dagestani. It's interesting how they compare when we look at their stats. Now, let's talk about the weight details for both athletes. Alexander Volkanovski, the UFC featherweight champion, has has revealed his weight as he prepares to face Islam Makachev at 155 pounds. While he formerly weighed more than 200 pounds as a rugby league player, Volkanovski has found a place in MMA at 145 pounds. He's not only had a successful career on the sport's grandest stage at that weight, but he's also established himself as a candidate for divisional GOAT status. To achieve that achievement, the Australian has gone 12-0 in the UFC, including three wins against Max Holloway. While the first saw Volkanovski named champion in 2019, the most recent saw him crush blessed over five rounds to secure his fourth defense. And after completing the immediate hurdles at featherweight, Volkanovski's debut appearance in 2023 will signal the attempt to complete a new goal, champ champ status. Volkanovski will make his first defense since claiming the title at UFC 280 last October at UFC 284, which will take place in Perth, Australia next month. Makachev has an 11 fight victory run since a knockout defeat in 2015, employing his exceptional Sambo style wrestling game to stymie the assaults of everyone he's faced. With that in mind, many believe the Dagestani will be too physically intimidating for his future opponent. While some predict Volkanovski to be way smaller than the lightweight champion, the Australian has proven this wrong. But not only that, Volkanovski has to get some things off his UFC to do list. Volkanovski is gonna have to cut weight sooner or later. Volkanovski recently spoke with the All-Stars John Hyun Ko about a possibly career-defining clash with Makachev at UFC 284. Volkanovski waved off the opinion that he won't be able to physically compete with the lightweight king, citing the extensive training he and his staff are putting in before the tournament. By the end of it, they're fresh. They're like, oh, you know, they half of them want to just do two minutes or three minutes. 
because they want to give me all the work they can as hard as they can, but then they just they fold. Volkanovski selected the weight at which he hoped to enter the cage on February 11th, after noting that his present weight is about 80 kilos. That's roughly 176 pounds for you Brits. Despite the body changes Volkanovski is going to have to go through, he's super happy with his body regardless. The guy is a short featherweight class explosive fighter, and I think he's going to be one tough cookie against the Dagestani with or without less weight. While Volkanovski has argued that his strength and takedown defense will catch Makachev off guard. In reply to this, the Russian dismissed the Australian's confidence on Twitter, predicting that the longtime featherweight fighter will panic once on the ground. And judging by how Makachev has been training, he might not be entirely wrong. Islam Makachev is chilling in training camp. With so much at stake at UFC 284, it's only natural that both Islam Makachev and Alexander Volkanovsky are working hard to win. Although, it is important to mention that they are from very different parts of the world, with significantly different environments. Editions. This was highlighted in a huge manner by a recent training video Makachev shared on Instagram, which showed him practicing in the severe cold while wearing almost no clothing. Not only that, but the lightweight champion fired bullets at his Australian opponent, who was bracing for summer temperatures in the 90s. It's difficult not to admire and respect Islam Makachev's fortitude in training persevering through such harsh conditions while naked. In terms of the fight, his battle at UFC 284 is likely to take place in Perth, Australia. So. Alexander Volkanovsky may have an advantage by getting used to the conditions. The match does have everyone heated up though. Chael Sonnen thinks Islam Makachev could retire without Habib Nurmagomedov in his corner. Chael Sonnen, a former UFC fighter turned MMA commentator, believes Islam Makachev would struggle without Habib Nurmagomedov in his corner. Nurmagomedov, Makachev's longtime training partner and close friend, was anticipated to be in his corner for his first lightweight championship defense against Alexander Volkanovsky at UFC 284. That is no longer the case, as Habib stated recently that he has stepped down from MMA coaching in order to spend more time with his family. Without his mentor and coach in his corner in future fights, Sonnen wonders whether Makachev may contemplate retiring early, as Nurmagomedov did after his previous fight. My personal opinion is that Makachev has slipstreamed the eagle enough to find his own footing, and that he's ready to take on the toughest of competition. In any case, this is truly a clash of the titans. Both athletes have have a unique fighting style that couldn't be any different from each other. So when I say they're going to be pretty dumbfounded when actually trading punches, you guys should listen. It all eventually boils down to fighting spirit. Australia vs Russia, Harry vs Baldy, grapples vs dashes, punches vs kicks. You get the point. Cue Tekken announcer voice. Get ready for the next battle. Thank you for watching today's video. Please remember to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Till next time.